everyone. Welcome to today's virtual tour webinar. For today's city, we will be talking about Dubai UAE. So Dubai is a extremely beautiful city, if you can see, and we will be covering a lot about it. We will specifically be covering its history, geography, weather, events and activities, culture, holidays and festivals, food, and fun facts. And at the end, we will have a short video to show more. So first off is its history. So in the 19th century, Dubai was a simple village on the shores of a creek. Due to its good position, the Dubai Creek soon became a important fishing and pearl center. The market on the Dira side of the creek was famous in the whole Middle East. The pearl industry continued to rise until the appearance of the artificial pearl. The artificial pearl hit, the growth of it hit the economy of Dubai. Therefore, therefore, the ruler of the country decided to refine his strategy. After the collapse of the pearl industry, Dubai became a re-export business port. The 20th century, Dubai became began its expansion after the discovery of oil. The British troops have left the region and it allowed the city to manage its, its own. Sheikh Rashid bin Said Al Maktoum, who was the vice president at the time, decided to develop Dubai. The rapid ri rise of oil prices allowed the city to focus on its infrastructure. When Sheikh Rashid became a ruler, the Maktoum family decided to create the United Arab Emirates. In the earliest of the 1970s, the seven Emirates made a coalition and the United Arab Emirates officially became a country. The discovery of oil allowed to get revenues and invest in the construction of public infrastructure. Dozens of schools, hospitals, roads, buildings, and many more were built. As you can see from 2005 to now, it has it's a tremendous change in such short, short amount of time. So next up is its geography. Dubai is located in the Persian Gulf to the northeast of the United Arab Emirates. Dubai is the second largest emirate to Abu Dhabi with an urban area of 3,885 square meters. And the city is roughly 35 square kilometers. Dubai shares its borders with the capital Abu Dhabi in the south, Sharjah in the southeast, and the Sultanate of Oman in the southeast. Due to, due to the city's unique geographical location, it enjoys a strategic position which allows it to connect to all Gulf states as well as to East Africa and South Asia. It's climate. So the climate in the region is warm and sunny since the location is in the Northern Desert area. Dubai has a tropical desert climate. Summers are extremely, extremely hot and humid with an average of around 40 degrees Celsius, which is 104 degrees Fahrenheit and overnight lows around 30 degrees Celsius, which is 86 degrees Fahrenheit. The highest recorded temperature in Dubai is 52 degrees Celsius. The summer season starts from the month of April until September. However, the months of May, March, and October still remain extremely hot. In the winter season, the normal daytime temperature is an average of 25 degrees Celsius and nighttime is comparatively cool. It starts from the beginnings of the month of October and lasts till March. Winters are warm and short with an average of high average high of 23 degrees Celsius, which is 70, 73 degrees Fahrenheit. And during the night, it is 14 degrees Celsius, which is 57 degrees Fahrenheit. So Dubai has a lot of activities, which we'll be talking about. First up is visiting the Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest tower in the world. At 555 meters, which is 1,821 feet high, at the top, Burj Khalifa Sky on level 148 offers visitors the unprecedented 
opportunity to, so to soak up unmatched views of the city and beyond. From an outdoor, outdoor terrace and premium lounge, the, the Burj Khalifa is used for a number of purposes, including offices, residential apartments, hotels, club, restaurant, observation, and communication center, which are all open to the public. Enjoy a ride in the Ain Dubai. Dubai Eye is the tallest observation wheel in the world, sur surpassing other popular attractions like the London Eye and the Singapore, Singapore Flyer. The Ain Dubai offers visitors a unique perspective of Dubai's stunning coastline and skyline, making it a must-visit must attraction for tourists and lo locals alike. One rotation around the Dubai Eye takes approximately 38 minutes. Visiting the Museum of the Future. Museum of the Future is an exhibition space for innovation and futuristic ideologies, services, and products. It is a great way to a future world crafted by visionary designers, artists, and filmmakers. The museum combines elements of exhibition, immer immersive theater, and a themed attraction. Each floor is like a film set from a future that, can, that you can inhabit, explore, and interact with. Explore the Miracle Garden. Dubai Miracle Garden is the world's largest natural flower garden and is among the top tourist attractions in Dubai. A flower garden of 50 million flowers, the Dubai Miracle Garden is one of the UAE's most original attractions. Branded as the world's largest natural flower garden, it boasts hundreds of flower form display displays spread over 18 acres all of which create an extravaganza of color and scent on the outskirts of Dubai. Watch the Dubai Fountain Show. Located at the base of Burj Khalifa is one of the world's largest choreographed fountain displays where powerful jet streams soar as high as 150 meters in the air and sway in time to musical numbers. Stop by in the evening when displays begin at sundown and take place every 30 minutes until the final song plays at 11 p.m. Diners can also, can also sit back and enjoy the show at an array of restaurants at the Dubai Mall or Souq Al Bahar, both commanding prime positions near the fountain area. Exploring the famous Dubai Sahara. Less than a 20 minute drive from the modern streets of downtown Dubai lies the mystique built Arabian desert. Go on a Dubai style desert safari complete with Thriving activities such as quad biking and sandboarding. Those looking for a luxury can book a safari with leading tour companies like Platinum Heritage and Arabian Adventures. From the unforgettable off-road drive to cultural fun with henna painting and camel rides. And feast of local cuisine under the stars. It is an only in Dubai treat. Visiting Hatta. If you're not a fan of the busy downtown streets, and more of a nature person, then this is definitely the place for you. It is a 130 km, km, kilometers drive southeast of downtown Dubai, a not to be missed scenic getaway. In this mountain town, you can try kayaking along the serene Hatta Lake or traversing rocky mountains on foot with uh, specially crafted hiking experiences. Recent additions to the area include the Hatta Dome Park, a glamping experience that takes advantage of Hatta's mountainscapes, views, and back to nature vibes, plus a chic lodge style hotel and trailer parks. So now it's culture. Clothing. The Emirati national dress is a sim symbol of pride and identity that has been designed with the dual intent of providing comfort and adhering to religious beliefs. In Dubai, men wear an ankle length loose fitting garments made of white cotton, known as the kandora or the dishdasha. A ghotra covers their head and is held in place by the aggad, a type of black cord. This garment was originally used to protect their face from the harsh desert environment. Traditionally, women in Dubai wear a abaya, a long black flowing, black flowing light coat over their clothing. This is worn over their western clothes or a Traditional long sleeve full length dress known as the jalabiya. A black scarf called a shayla is often draped over their head. 
Hospitality. Hospitality is an interesting part of the Bedouin lifestyle that can be traced back to the traditions of life in the desert. Many consider that religious beliefs and honoring one's guests go hand in hand, and these customs are often very much alive in Dubai today. So here are some of the basics. First off is marhaba. This is, this is an Arabic word used for welcome, used when entering someone's home. The second is salam alaikum, which means peace be peace upon you. The third is nose to nose. In the UAE, Mary and Maratis will touch noses or peck on the cheek when they first meet. There is also the medzis. In many homes, they have a reception room reserved for special guests or entertaining guests known as the medzis. It would typically involve a low seating and cushions dating back to life in tents. Dinner. Evening meals would typically be served on huge round platter and be prepared to use their hands. So traditional arts and handicrafts. Local arts and handicrafts are still commonly practiced in Dubai and around the UAE. Some of the most famous include calligraphy. The Arabic alphabet is the second most widely used across the globe. The decorative way of writing is known as khat which derives from the word, the word for line, design, or construction. The second is henna, originally worn by brides across the region to bring good luck to their marriage. Henna, body art, remains a popular beauty treatment in Dubai to this day. There is perfumery. The Arab world is known for bold fragrances and many modern perfume brands combine traditional base aromas with a multitude of modern notes. There is pottery, people who have been working with clay since the third millennium BCE, aside from decorative vases and incense containers, other pots remain highly effective for, cool, for cooling drinking water. There is also weaving, belts, saddles, tents, baskets, and more, the traditional weaving technique known as al sari used uh, goat uh, and camel hair to craft a range of essential items. Holidays. So a popular holiday is National Day. Every year, United Arab Emirates National Day is marked on the 2nd of December, dubbed the Spirit of the Union. This date marks the unification of all seven Emirates into one nation. From dazzling firework displays to elaborate parades and glittering ceremonies, the UAE National Day is a time when locals and expatriates gather together to celebrate. In each emir, the local Karnish is always at the heart of the action. Fiber carnivals wind their way along the waterfront as colorful floats resplend with images and effigies of Sheikh Zayed draw shears. Sheikh Zayed is the father of the United Arab Emirates. Often, beaches turn into outdoor galleries for the day with sand sculptures. To round up a day of celebration, locals take the streets to watch fireworks light up cities across the Emirates. The food. So the first dish is balalit. Balalit is a traditional Emirati sweet and salty breakfast food. Although it is sometimes reserved as a dessert, it consists of vermicelli noodles and eggs as the main ingredients, swides, spiced with cardamom, cinnamon, saffron, and orange blossoms. Finally, the dish is topped with pistachios, to delicious effect. Next up is fatouche. If you're looking for a traditional vegan Emirati dish, try fatouche. This dish consists of fresh lettuce, diced tomatoes, cucumbers, mint leaves, onion, garlic, lemon, and olive oil, and is served on a levitine bread, fried or toasted slices of pita bread. This salad is a great accompaniment or start to any meal. Next up is Al Haris. Al Haris is another one pot culinary wonder related to the Arabic dish Halim. Wheat and salt are mixed into a pot and boiled for several hours. When the mixture reaches porridge like consistency, chunks of lamb, chicken, mutton, or veal are added, and this dish is boiled or baked again for several hours. Cinnamon, salt, and pepper are also added to the flavor of this dish. Lukaymat. These crunchy dumplings, which are pleasantly soft on the inside, are soaked in honey or a sweet, sticky date syrup known as dips when served. 
Salt, salty and sweet at the same time, they are the most popular traditional Emirati desserts. So lastly, some fun facts. It has the world's tallest building. Do you know what the most interesting fact about Burj Khalifa is? It is as tall as three Eiffel Towers perched on top of each other. It is not just another skyscraper. People all around the world visit Dubai to witness the garner of the majestic specimen of fine architecture. Before inauguration in 2010, Burj Khalifa was known as Burj Dubai. Burj Khalifa is not one of the tallest buildings, but the tallest building in the world with a height of 828 meters. It has a total of 163 floors that took 10,000 10, to 12,000 uh, 12, workers during construction. Even today, it takes 36 workers three to four months to clean the entire exterior. Yes, just the exterior of the building. Next up is it is home to the largest mall in the world. One of the most interesting facts about Dubai is that it has a habitat of being the world, the first one to do everything. And the Dubai mall is a fine example with over 1,200 stores and over 120 cafes and restaurants and 20 cine 26 cinema screens. The Dubai Mall is one of the largest malls in the world. The mall caters to the interesting uh, to interest of travel across different age groups. It has a dining park, trampoline park, an ice skating rink, a VR park, and so on. It is a mall like no other and is an ideal place for families. It has the largest suspended aquarium. The Dubai Aquarium Tank is the largest suspended aquarium in the world with a capacity of 10 million liters. It is located in the Dubai Mall and it has a vast collection of more than 33,000 aquatic animals from over 200 species, with over 300 sharks and rays, including one of the largest collections of sand tiger sharks in the world. Dubai Aquarium Tag is another fun place for tourists. So fourth, you can witness the world's biggest picture frame here. Can anything beat the beauty of and magnificence of this frame. Fun fact about the Dubai frame and architectural marvel. The Dubai frame holds the record for being the largest picture, picture frame in the world. This 150 meter tall and 93 meter wide picture frame in Zabil Park is another attraction popular amongst tourists. No matter where you are with your family or friends, this place makes for a perfect tourist attraction with an insta-worthy backdrop. So fact five, it owns the largest man-made island. One fact about Dubai is that it has the largest artificial island in the world, Palm Jumeirah. Constructed in 2007, Palm Jumeirah was a joint project by Van Ord and Boclias, two Dutch specialist companies. Palm Jumeirah is an archaeoplagio of, of artificial island, which includes Palm Jabal Ali and Pyal Dira, and both of these islands stretch Dubai's shoreline by 320 meters. What makes it a popular destination for tourists, from luxury boutique hotels to amusement parks to residential apartments? Palm Jumeirah is a haven for tourists. So now we will be watching a short video about Dubai. So thank you for visiting Dubai. Mm -hmm. 